Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I used to love the Twilight movies as a kid. And it's and it's true, because when I was a kid, like when I was 10 years old, I was obsessed with the Twilight movies, and so was my mom. And it was crazy back then when people were on Team Edward or Team Jacob. Little girls were always like, I wish my re relationship was like Edward and Bella's or, Ed or Bella and Jacob's and stuff like that. No, you don't. No, 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 you don't. You don't want a vamp, a gaslighting vampire, or an anger man, and or an anger issued werewolf. You don't want any of those kinds of people or beings in your life. You don't want a vampire that gaslights you. You don't want an anger issued werewolf in your life that'll just. You don't want any person in your life to control you or pursue you. Or even try to kiss you without consent. They're just, they're just not the people you want in a relationship. And Bella is not innocent either. She just, even when she's told that she's hanging out with dangerous people, she doesn't give a fuck. She really doesn't care. She's like, all right, I'm still going to go with you. I'm still going to be with you. She must be mentally insane. I, I mean, like, mentally insane. The, you know what's funny? The first movie, the funny part when I we used to watch the first movie, like, it was a long time ago. Um, I The atmosphere in the movie was so bright. The contrast and the exposure of the movie was so bright. I'm convinced that Bella is in a mental asylum in an all-white room, and she's fantasizing about how she wants to be with a vampire and a werewolf is fighting over her and shit. I'm convinced that she's, like, mentally insane, and her dad put her there. And her dad, Charlie, is just a pure saint, the only character I feel bad for. And the one thing that really irritates me about Bella is that she doesn't call her dad Charlie dad she just calls him by his first name i mean what did he ever do to make to make you call to make you call him by his first name nothing right he does everything for you he even supports your relationship with edward for some reason without without any question it is ridiculous i mean like at, like, Bella is putting her whole mortality at risk just so she can hang out with a vampire. She doesn't care about anyone else but herself and Edward. And, and if Edward is away from Bella, she just becomes an empty husk of a human being. She needs therapy. She needs, like, psychotherapy. Like... I I've um I know the movies are based on the books. I've never read the books. I've only seen the movies as a kid. And if I ever plan on watching the movies again, it's low expectations. I remember when I was watching Breaking Dawn Part 1. It used to scare the shit out of me, no joke. Like the pregnancy scene when Edward was trying to take the baby out of Bella. It, it kind of scared the crap out of me. I mean, Bella, during her whole pregnancy, she looked like a walking, talking corpse. No joke. Like, her belly looks like a blimp, one of those air blimps. And she's paler than Edward. She's pale than any, in any, any vampire I've ever seen in the movie. Like, no, like, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, the, the movies are crazy. And no one should have or expect a relationship like with Edward and Bella or Bella or Jacob. It's not what you want. No one should have anything like that. And I hope my mom can watch the Twilight movies again and, exp and know that Edward and Jacob and even Bella are both pieces of shit. Honestly, Bella's friends shouldn't even be with Bella because Bella just disregards them just so she can hang out with her vampire clan friends or a bunch of werewolves. The only thing I find interesting about the Twilight movies is Bella's dad, Charlie, and the CGI werewolves. I'm 
don't know why the CGI of the werewolves, I thought they're really interesting. But the one thing that threw me off in part, was it part one? Was the telepathy of werewolves. Since when can werewolves learn telepathy? What, what the fuck? It, it, it's ridiculous. My mind is being blown to this point with these Twilight movies. I used to love them. Now I don't. I don't, I, there are better romance, I can understand why people say, I prefer this, and this is a better love story than Twilight. I can understand why so many people say, this is a better love story than Twilight. That whole meme thing going on back in, back in, was it 2012? Way back when, when internet was still a thing? <laughs> oh man, the Twilight memories. You love them, you hate them, or both. But I hate them now. I used to be, I remember in the Kids' Choice Awards, on the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, when Kristen Stewart won an award, I was, I was going crazy. I even had the Barbie doll collector's editions of the, of the Twilight dolls, of Edward in his tuxedo, and Bella in her vampire outfit with a leather jacket, I even went to my friend's birthday party when I was 10 and gave her a doll, a Twilight doll. <laughs> That's when you know I was obsessed with Twilight when I had the Barbie doll collections of them. Not the whole, not the whole collection, just a few of them. <laughs> it, it was wild. But I don't love them anymore. And I never will, ever again. I'll, because when I was a kid, I was blindsided. I never knew what love truly was. Now I know. Gotta watch out for a bunch of creepos who gaslight you and people who have anger management issues. Gotta watch out for those people. They're not to be trusted. And if they are to be trusted, keep in touch with them. Make sure they're in good health. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.